Hi, this is David Papkin from TSI Consulting Services. In this video, Upgrading Your Skills to Windows Server 2016, I'm going to demo installing and configuring Nano Server. So the first thing I'm going to do is installing Nano Server. I'm going to copy the required Windows PowerShell scripts. Now I've logged on to uh, London DC1. And then I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go to the PowerShell admin on here. And then I'm going to copy some files. So I'm going to do is this. I'm going to make a directory in nano. Now, of course, the case doesn't matter, but just for the interest, this. Okay, now I'm going to do is I'm going to copy. I have the Windows CD in there. Let's try tab complete. Ah, oh, nice. And I'm going to just uh, PS asterisk to see colon backslash nano. Let's try that. Nice. Okay, and if I do is if I take a wrist. Take a Nano. Okay, you can see as it puts some PowerShell scripts in there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is in this, I'm going to import the PowerShell modules on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new VHD from here. Of course, it's grabbing this from the CD. Let's just see if this all works over here. Asking for the password. Please work. Okay, good. As you can see, it's converting one here and found one. Okay, now that that's done, creating the hard disk. Now, normally, I would now create a virtual machine to use the Nano Server 1 VHDX I created. But I'm going to just start one that's already been created just in the interest of time. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in to this Nano Server virtual machine. So I'm logging in as administrator. And the password P A dollar sign dollar sign W zero R D and on this I'm gonna press enter because I'm not joined the domain yet. Now I'm gonna do is next, I'm gonna do some post installation tasks on it. I'm gonna use the recovery console to view basic settings, then I'm gonna add it to the domain. Now on this one right here, I'm going to use the tab key on this one right here. You can see the Ethernet IP. You can see Nano Server in a work group on this one right here. I'm going to use the tab key on this. On this right here, and I'm going to do is I want to select networking. Good. Networking is now selected. Now I'm going to press enter. On this right here. Now notice that the DHCP server on here is getting the IP address from this. Okay, now I'm going to select this one here. Okay, you can see that it's getting it from DHCP. Now the IP address is 0 0.160. I'm going to hit escape twice. I'm going to add it to the domain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to London DC1. And I'm going to do some PowerShell set item. WSMAN colon slash localhost. 
Okay, I was able to tab complete. Let's see if I can still do a client. Excellent. And trusted host. I'm adding a trusted host. Now in quotes, 172.16.0.160. That's the IP address. Okay, yes. Great. And now I'm going to do this right here. IP equals 172.16.0.160. Remember, this is the IP address of the nano server. Great, I said environment variable. Pasting this command into here. Press enter, I'll have to enter in password, I'm sure. It went in okay. After this, I'm going to do is I'm going to um, set the firewall. In this. Let's see if that all works. Sometimes when you paste PowerShell in. Okay, good. It updated the rule. Excellent on this. And I'm going to do is this. Exit, PS, session, PS, any tab that wasn't it, good. Okay, great. And now I'm going to do is this. I'm going to use a net use Z from 172.16.0.160. C dollar sign. Great, I managed to map the Z drive in there because of the firewall exception. I'm going to go to the Z drive. Remember, I am on the nano server on this right here. I'm going to go copy. So I'm going to do is this. I'm going to dejoin C colon O D server onto there. Let's see Good on this one right there. C colon now the next o -D thing I'm going to have to do is J blob. I'm going to copy. Let's see if that works. This file, if copy you'll to take a look Let's here. That worked. Okay, okay, you'll see this is file. Let me take a look here. So a I need to do is I'm going to have to dejoin uh, de the machine. Copy. Obviously, I don't have a C GUI on the nano o server. D. Blob. So I'm going to dejoin this one on here, and I'm going to save the file. And you'll see it there it's right, right here. Should be there. Good. It's right there. Excellent. So now I've rebooted the nano server. You were surprised, weren't you, that I was able to reboot it automatically? And let's see what happens here. Fantastic. Notice we are in the domain now by using that dejoin. Pretty cool. Now the next thing is I'm going to use Windows PowerShell to configure the settings of Nano. So I am on the, right here. I am going to PowerShell admin and I'm going to go get Windows feature. Windows feature and the computer. Computer. Computer name is nano SVR1. Okay, so in the features right here, I'm going to install. Notice that the file server features on here. I'm going to install. The file I'm going to install on this one right here. So I'm going to go install Windows features. 
files server dash file server dash comp nano svr1 and after this I'm going to verify you notice now see look this wasn't installed here now it's installed here I'm going to now do this command again to get the IP environment variable on here. Good. Okay. Type password, of course. Now I'm going to do is this get dash net IP net IP address hopefully I'm going to get dash net IP address okay I have the address on this you can see on this, okay, I can see the IP addresses. Loop back, 172.16.0.160. I'm going to go BCD edit. Enumerate it. Not share. And I'm going to exit Ooh, dash PS session. Good. Next thing I do is enable remote management with server manager. Now on the server manager here. I go to all servers. And then I'm going to do is add servers on here. I'm going to type nano server one. Find now. Edit here. Now under okay, so under nano server here, I'm going to do is under file and storage services, I'm going to go to shares, the task list on this, new share, I'm going to do SMB share quick. Nano server next data is what I'm going to call it next and then I'm just going to do next twice and create already done and I'm going to close it now for the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test the file server and web server on nano on London DC one I'm going to go to the PowerShell this right here net uz colon delete it and I'm going to go net use z colon nano Server one, the C dollar sign. Now I'm just start. I'm 
notepad. Save as. All file. Z colon backsys I net pub. I net pub www root and I'm going to call this one here default dot htm and then save it on this one I'm going to close this one right here I'm going to go to this Let's try this and let's say HTTP nano SVR one and look it says nano server website yay now I'm gonna do is this close Internet Explorer and on London DC one net use y colon nano server one data again y type the word right that brings up WordPad I type this is my document. My doc on this right here. File. Save as. On this one right here on the Y drive. my document listen right here save it is my document great Well, this concludes this video demo of installing and configuring Nano. So I've imported the PowerShell module, created a virtual hard disk. I've signed into Nano Server VM. Then I've used the recovery console to view the settings, add Nano Server to the domain, use PowerShell to configure the settings, enable remote management, and then I was able to use Server Manager and manage it with the GUI in London DC1. And then I was able to test the file server and web service, which I installed with install features PowerShell. This is David Papkin with TSI Consulting. Thank you for watching.